There is the engine power plant that generates the electricity we use every day. In this video, you will witness the incredible process of overhauling the world's largest engine cylinder head, something you are likely never seen before. These engines are connected to alternator, providing the power we rely on. Before we begin, here's what the engine looks like. Unlike smaller engines, the Slena head on this giant are separated, not combined. Now we are removing the rocker and cover, rocker and an other pad attached on the Slena head. The Slena head has been fully detached and is now ready for lifting to the workshop. In the workshop, we carefully transition the slender head from body care to horizontal. Safety is critical at this stage. Before lifting, we ensure the lifting bed, chain block, and crate are all in perfect condition. Any damage to the equipment could lead to an accident. If the slender head drops, it could cause serious injury or even further consequences. This slender head weighs nearly 0.7 tons and is extremely expensive. Handling is carefully essential to prevent any damage. Now that the slender head is properly positioned, we begin the process of removing the bar spring and inlet and exhaust bar. First, we installed a special 3 bus tool designed specifically for this purpose. Step 1. Position the first tool. Step 2. Adjust the compression tool. Step 3. Secure the hydraulic jack. Here is an important safety note. There is a net behind the jack. That support hydraulic pressure. It is crucial to wear safety goggles to protect your eyes. As hydraulic pipe can unexpectedly breast enough pressure. Once the correct pressure is applied, we generally tap the inlet and exhaust bar using a rubber hammer of a wooden piece, never a metal hammer. If it, if a bird doesn't come out easily, we apply a traditional hydraulic pressure to ease it removal. After removing the bar coda, we remove the special tools, bar spring, bar ruda, and both the inlet and exhaust bar. We now measure each component to determine if it within a suitable limit. If any part is out of spot, we will replace it to ensure optimal performance. Now we will clean the inlet and exhaust bar. Take a look at the exhaust bar. It is covered with a thickness layer or chemical deposit. Before cleaning, it measured 35 mm, but after cleaning, it reduced to 33 mm. That is 2 mm of bad carbon and grime that we need to remove. When cleaning, we ensure the bar C area is untouched to avoid damage. If you notice, the inlet part is blackened due to leaking the bar guy orange, which allow engine wine to enter during the intake stove. That is why we must replace the bar guy orange to prevent further damage.
Here is the final cleaning bar restored to its original condition. This is the bottle data which has the bottle day smoothly. Inside it has ball bearing that facilitate this motion. We inspect this component carefully to ensure it function correctly. Let's move on to the hydro dust, a vital process to test for any potential leak. Here is the bubble or hydro dust. The hydro dust has a detect crack or leak in the cylinder head. The engine operates at a coolant pressure of about 4 bar. But during the hydro test, we increase it to 10 bar and wait for 10 minutes to observe any pressure loss. If no pressure drops occur, the cylinder has passed the test and it's ready for the next phase. Otherwise, we identify the issue and take correct measure. According to the measurement data, we need to change the component like Vasi Bagai. The first one we are trying to remove the Vasi. Before we remove the Vasi, we buff in the cylinder head combustion chamber surface. After that, we are trying to remove the Vasi. There are two effective methods to remove the Vasi using special tool of the wearing method. In the wearing method, we need the circular metal plate with a diameter slightly smaller than the inner diameter of the Vasi. Here you can see the old Vasi we previously removed. To proceed, we wear the circular metal plate at four key points. Top bottom left and right ensuring a strong, secure weight accuracy. Once the wetting is complete, we use a modifying or a saw bar to strike the metal plate with control force. One critical precaution is to cover the slender head surface with a wooden plate to protect strong impact from an accidental impact. We then apply repeated forceful hit and then the bar C loosens and comes out. We use a high pressure water jet to clean the cylinder head. This process removes any small particles and debris from the inlet and outlet passage. Next, we prepare the cylinder head to install the new bar C. Before we fit in the C, we ensure that the sitting area is perfectly clean. A clean surface is critical for optimal sealing and long-lasting performance. Fitting the exhaust basi rings requires great coal. Why? Because inside the sea, there is a water channel that must remain unobstructed. If the channel gets blocked, it can cause the bar C to overheat, crack, and damage to the combustion chamber. Here's how we do it. We first coat the bar C in liquid nitrogen for 5 minutes. After that, we quickly install the O-ring and fit the C-ring into place. Once the C-ring is in place, we generally insert the exhaust bar and use a hammer or wooden piece to skewer it. Using oren grease is essential to prevent the oren from freezing due to nitrogen exposure. After the cylinder head reaches room temperature, we check the eccentricity of the ceiling fit. The maximum accelerator tolerance is 0.07 mm. If the tolerance exceeds 0.25 mm, we use a grinding machine to adjust the surface. Next, we replace the bar guide. 
The valve guide ensures the valve move in a straight line, preventing engine wind from entering the combustion chamber and causing smoke. If the inner diameter of the guide exceeds the limit, it must be replaced. To remove the old guide, we use a hydraulic press with a new specialized 3 plus 2. After removing the old guide, we clean the seating area thoroughly before installing the new valve guide. We use liquid nitrogen to strengthen the new guide. And wearing properly safety gear like goggles and chemical resistant gloves during this process. Finally, we perform bar lapping to ensure the tie seat between the bar and the bar seat. This step is crucial for preventing conversion gas leak and improving engine performance. After lapping, we reassemble the bar spring and the rotator using the same special tool. We secure the component using hydraulic pressure, overcoming the bar spring tension to fit the bar quarters. In this video, we have shown you the complete overhaul of the Slena hat from removal and cleaning to put, replace and reassemble. If you found this video is helpful, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell for more video and engine overhauls and maintenance. Stay tuned for our next video, it's going to be even more interesting and useful. Thank you.